This is an effective trap trigger. You can make it as big or as small as you like, but the parts have to fit nicely. While it could take a bit longer to make than some other options, it is a portable trigger which doesn't have to be specifically fitted to the weight being used. And it has the advantage of being able to be placed completely under the weight, whereas some trigger systems protrude a long way out where they can be disturbed and seen. It's important to cut the angles on the bottom of both vertical sticks more or less as shown in the pictures. The force acting down through the angled bases forces the sticks apart, and this helps to hold the bait stick in place, as well as ensuring that the whole assembly flies apart quickly when triggered. The notch on the bait stick should only be deep enough to work. If it is any deeper, it may not work as well. This version of the trigger has a step carved into the upper stick. The bottom of the bait stick sits on top of the step. Hopefully you'll see that if a little downward pressure is applied to the bait end of the bait stick, the other end of the bait stick will be lifted up above the top of the lower stick, and the support sticks will fly apart, allowing the weight to drop. In my experience, the step makes the trigger much more sensitive and predictable. I've never seen another Siberian trigger with a step, but I wouldn't be surprised if other trappers had done something similar. Here's a picture of the trigger supporting a weight. And here's an actual deadfall set up in our backyard. The trigger is supporting a heavy piece of steel plate. The top of the bait stick has been carved out like a spoon and peanut butter has been smeared onto it. Can you see the mouse tail?